Welcome in to WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of Belmont Cardinal football. Tonight it's the Belmont Cardinals and the Red Bay Tigers. We're at Red Bay High School, Steve Bates along with Scott Webster, Byron Hellams, our videographer for tonight's TV broadcast. Well, the Belmont Cardinals lost last week to the Baldwin Bearcats. Cardinals with a little over four minutes to go in the game. It picked up a first down inside the 10. The ball comes loose. Scott Webster and Baldwin goes on to win that ball game last week over the Belmont Cardinals. Tonight, we turn our attention to the Red Bay Tigers. Well, that's exactly right, Steve. It was a tough way to lose the ball game last week, as you mentioned. I hate it for the young uh, men. Uh, there in the first quarter of the game, almost got away from Belmont, and uh, our kids uh, bowled their neck, if you will, and began to play real hard uh, Cardinal football and come back, made a game out of it, had every opportunity to win, and it just uh, there at the very end, uh, that turnover cost us the game. I, I do have some stats from last fall game for Belmont. Uh, Miles Cox had 17 carries for 102 yards and one touchdown. Derek Hacker carried the ball 15 times for 100 yards, and Cade Rhodes carried the ball six times for 102 yards and three touchdowns. And so uh, very unusual in high school football to have three rushers with over 100 yards rushing for the game. And Dominic Alvarez carried the ball four times for 20 more yards. Garrett Ricker was two for four in his passing for a total of 40 yards. And, uh, the total production on offense was 51 plays, 360 yards total offense, and we averaged seven yards per play. We had two turnovers, uh, two fumbles, I should say, that resulted in two turnovers, and they were very uh, costly for the Cardinals. Uh, our penalties was cut down dramatically, and I certainly need more of that for this evening's ball game. Uh, I, I was thinking probably uh, I've not talked to anybody, but I, I just have to imagine, looking at the stats, that uh, Rooker was still not uh, totally healthy. And so he only threw the ball four times last week and did not rush the ball hardly any like he has in games past. And so hopefully uh, Rooker is completely healthy this evening. I, I do know we still have some players who are hurt and, and out for various reasons. And so uh, this is not a very healthy football team. And uh, uh, like you mentioned last week, an open week would have been wonderful but the open week was not afforded us. We got to keep playing football. But uh, look forward to a good game tonight against the Red Bay Tigers. Okay, back to you, Steve. Appreciate it. Kano Storage, the only climate control storage in the area. Haskell Sparks, Belmont, and Tisha Mango bring you tonight's game. Also, Dr. Chris Moss at Belmont Chiropractic, their hometown chiropractic specialist, located next door to the store at Belmont Hotel, serving Belmont and surrounding areas since 1998. Now, a moment of silence, international anthem. Thank you for continuing to show respect as members of the American Legion, Marion Post 120, raise the flag. The Red Bay Band will play our national anthem as the symbol of our nation move skyward. Give your undivided attention to the stars and stripes. There should be no moving about in any area of the stadium at this time. Thank you for your full cooperation. <laughs>
Good job of the Red Bay Tiger marching band on our national anthem here this evening as we get ready for the Belmont Cardinals and the Red Bay Tigers. Michael Haney, proud supporter of her local team, looks forward to working for you as your next Justice Court Judge of the South Half. Hope to see you on the campaign trail and earn your vote. Remember now, November 5th, a working man's judge, vote Michael Haney, preceding paid political paid for by Michael Haney. Josh McNatch, Republican candidate, ready to work for you as your Tishomingo County Circuit Court Clerk. Josh thanks all who voted for him in the runoff and asked those who didn't consider him as your next Circuit Court Clerk of Tishomingo County. He's asking for and appreciate your vote and consideration November 5th, preceding pay political paid for by Josh McNatt. Stone's Jewelry, family owned and operated for 41 years. Stone's Jewelry, two locations to serve you Ripley and Tupelo. Their specialty is engagement rings and making the customer happy when you think of the Stones, Joanne and Teresa at Stones Jewelry bringing you Cardinal Sports. Willow Lane Record Service Tire Store and Oil Change open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, next to the Belmont Fire Department at Willow Lane. Their record service available to you 24 7. Call them at 454 3002. Well, the Cardinals face the Red Bay Tigers tonight, and one guy they're going to have to watch tonight, without a doubt, Scott Webster, is junior quarterback Jalen Vincent. That's exactly right, Steve. And I uh, really don't know much about this Red Bay football team. The yearly stats are not available, but I do have some stats from the last ball game, which was their toughest ball game of the year. Uh, the toughest opponent they faced was Addison, and they defeated Addison. But in that ball game, and in two of the ball games thus far this year, or at least two of them, I should say, uh, they've actually passed for more yardage than they rushed for, which is sort of unusual for Red Bay Tiger football. Uh, against Addison, now uh, remember that Red Bay's coming off an open week. But uh, two weeks ago against Addison, Jalen was 13 to 22 for 190 yards passing. And uh, Arden Hamilton is number 22, and he's a senior, and he caught six passes for 100 yards. And he's a, uh, he's a big, tall kid, and so I do a good job of getting him covered in that. Number nine, Mason Holt caught four for 60 yards, and Colin Humphrey has caught three for 30 yards. The leading rusher against Addison was the quarterback, Jalen Benson, and uh, he had a total of 41 yards rushing. Uh, Hunter King, number seven, carried the ball 10 times, 23 yards, and Colin Humphreys carried it seven times for 12 yards. And so uh, against uh, Addison, the Bulldogs anyway, uh, they did a lot more passing than they did, uh, they did uh, rushing the football. Now we have faced two opponents in a row, uh, Belmont has, that have uh, done the best they could to throw the ball against the Cardinals. And uh, against Morville, we had a very difficult time containing their receivers. Done a better job last week, I thought, against uh, Baldwin. But uh, we should be accustomed to this passing attack by now. And hopefully we've got some men in the right places and got a little more experience. And uh, you know, we get these young kids that are hurt and another young kid takes his place. And uh, if you're not quite sure about where you need to go and what you need to be doing, uh, it's just hard to play 100% wide open. And so the more experience they get, uh, the better off we're going to be, and they'll get to play uh, more uh, as far as just wide open. But uh, this is going to be a hard-fought ball game, and the key tonight for the Cardinals remains the same. We have got to control the line of scrimmage. And uh, when we can control the line of scrimmage, I believe we're going to have some opportunity to throw the ball, but we're going to give Rooker enough time uh, to find the receiver and make the completion. And we've been throwing the ball or trying to throw the ball the last several ball games down the field pretty good ways. And uh, maybe tonight we might have to do that short intermediate passes and, and just move the ball 10, 12 yards at a time on that passing play and get what we can. And I would love to see us get our tight end, that big tall kid, Luke Smith, uh, plays tight end for the Cardinals. Uh, I would love to see him get involved in the passing attack and because he'd be a hard matchup to uh, to defend with his hat. And so I uh, look forward to a good hard fought ball game. Steve, as you know, this is a rivalry ball game. And so it's going to be important for our kids to keep their composure. And let's don't get into that uh, penalty situation where you, uh, you know, pushing and shoving and all that mess. Uh, let's just keep our focus and play hard football. And, uh, and we'll have with a victory, hopefully, when it's all said and done. Appreciate it. Gina McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector, bringing you tonight's game. Preceding pay political paid for by Gina McNatt. Also, 
Belmont Mayor Buddy Wilshire, Alderman or Craig Bell, Mike Harris, Sonia Harris, Brandon Farr, and Steve Ratliff. Also Northeast Mississippi Community College moving forward with technology in the classroom with a health and fitness initiative with the Honors College and Student Success Center. Short-term and hybrid classes at all the affordable cost at Northeast Mississippi Community College. Also a four-day instructional week as well. Call them toll-free at 800-555-2154. That's Northeast Mississippi Community College. We're like John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff. He thanks you for your support and confidence you have put in him. He's honest, dependable. He's a sheriff you can count on. Re-elect John Dennis Darty, your sheriff of Tishomingo County, preceding paid political, paid for by John Dennis Darty. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent for your life, home, auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplement, tax-deferred annuities. Give Mike Harris a call in Belmont at 454-9624. Also, the Four Street Grill and Steakhouse, Lauren Brent Column. Good food every day at reasonable prices. Call them at 356-2226. Also, Man Oil Change at the Railroad Crossing in Golden. They appreciate your business. Sporting your Belmont Cardinals. Oil changes, tire rotations, to fix flats, do minor repairs. It's Man Oil Change, 454-3557. Re-elect David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County Tax Assessor on November 5th. Vote for experience, great work ethic. Vote David Wayne Crum. Best wishes to our Tishomingo County teams. Preceding paid political, paid for by David Wayne Crum. Also MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply Safety Apparel. High visibility vest, t-shirt, safety glasses, earplugs. Made and sold in Belmont at MTS. Call them toll free, 800-647-8168. And better yet, stop by and let them know what you need at MTS in Belmont. Also, Explore Liquidations, your home for bargains. Mike Stockton, your president. You find mattresses at the lowest price around, living room, bedroom, dining room, furniture, twos, coo gel pillows, and much more. 75% off daily at Explore Liquidation. All merchandise is from name brand retailers. Check out their eBay store as well at Explore Liquidation. Spirit Line forming on this end for the Red Bay Tigers. Waiting on the Cardinals on the other end. Scott Webster, you usually think uh, pushing October that uh, we, we might see a little coolness in the air, but uh, summer is, is holding on for dear life, isn't it? That's exactly right. As you say, Steve, you know, getting close to October, you think it'll be a little cooler football night, but it's still hot. I can promise you on the sideline, and uh, one of those hot, humid nights. And so uh, every game this uh, thus far this year has been like that, so I guess we ought to be used to it by now. Tell us who our captains are for the Cardinals tonight. Looks like number 80, Michael Lee. Number 21 is Hunter Borgstrom. Number 11 is River Ford. And number 77 is Axel Cortez. That'll be your captains tonight for the Belmont Cardinals. Real Lake Donald Ray Thomas, your South End Constable for Tishomingo County. If you can be assistance to you and your family, don't hesitate to give him a call. On November 5th, vote Donald Ray Thomas. Preceding paid political, paid for by Donald Ray Thomas. Gallons Pharmacy, Pharmacist Stanley Pays. They are your Health Mart Pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo. Give them a call at 438-6605 at Gatlin's Pharmacy. Red Bay Tigers just now coming out of the locker room, headed toward the stadium. Denise Timms, vote Denise Timms, Republican candidate for Tishomingo County Tax Collector. Denise will very much appreciate your vote. She will work hard for you. November 5th, vote Denise Timms, preceding pay political paid for by Denise Timms. Mike Kemp, your Republican nominee for sheriff. Thanks to the voters for your tremendous vote of confidence. He has proven experience. We'll protect what you value most, your family and property. Vote Mike Kemp, your Republican candidate for sheriff, preceding pay political paid for by Mike Kemp. Also, the Old Country Store, where you find those 24-hour gas pumps, pay at the pump, great food for breakfast or lunch, 454-7920. Also, Tri-State Insurance, Kim Wells, Calum Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, Belmont and Red Bay for all your insurance needs. And Belmont, call them at 454-3304. Red Bay, 356-4804. They're licensed in Mississippi, Alabama, and in Tennessee at Tri-State Insurance. The captains for the Red Bay Tigers, about ready to make their way onto the field. 
and Scott Webster will go out to midfield and get the instructions for tonight's game from the officials. Captains for Red Bay tonight, number 70, Dylan Hester, number 17, Colin Humphreys, number 64 for Red Bay, that'll be Dakota Vinson, and number 56, Levi Raper. That's your captains for the Red Bay Tigers. It's the Belmont Cardinals and the Red Bay Tigers. And let's go down to midfield. Scott Webster with the officials. Number 17, Colin Raper's Okay. Let's have good sportsmanship tonight, okay? Starts right now, goes through the entire game, okay? All right, you're the visitors. I'll let you call the toss. I got heads and I got tails. What you gonna call? Heads. Heads? He's gonna call heads. If I drop it, I'll flip it again. It's heads. You want a toss? You want the ball? Okay. All right, within one of the fans. So put your backs over here. Put your backs. So the Belmont Cardinals, Scott Webster, are going to touch the ball first here tonight. That is every game thus far this year, Steve. Red, uh, Belmont has received the opening kickoff every game this year so far. And the Belmont Cardinals will receive Allen Harden kickoff. Heating and Cooling. They've been in business 45 years. Your factory authorized New York heating and cooling dealer for three generations. Call them at 356-8913 at Allen Harden Heating and Cooling. Rebecca Oates. Vote for Rebecca Oaks, Circuit Court Clerk, eight years experience. She's honest, dependable. Would appreciate your vote. Preceding paid political paid for by Rebecca Oaks. The Red Bay Tigers Welcome making their the way Tigers onto the field. The field. And now your Belmont Cardinals making their way onto the field. Scott, you got a good crowd of Cardinal fans over there. Yeah, we got a good crowd tonight, Steve. They're all around the fence and cheers up on top of the hill. The bleachers are full. Uh, the band's got their uniforms on tonight. We're ready to play football, Steve. Parsons Earthworks. Call Parsons Earthworks for your drainage system, excavating gravel, dirt, dozer work, and foundation work. Free estimates are available. Call them at 424-0159 or 279-9809 at Parsons Earthworks. Daniel Archer County of State Senate District 5, which includes Prentice Tishomingo in North Etiwamba Counties. Daniel looks forward to the privilege to meet you and earn your support during this campaign, preceding paid political paid for by Daniel Sparks. Red Mud Heating and Cooling, Patrick Brooks, residential and commercial installation, service and repairs, free estimates on new installations, state certified, licensed, bunded, and insured. Call Patrick Brooks at 279-6569 at Red Mud Heating and Cooling. Number 23 for the Cardinals, Derek Hacker, the deep man. Jalen Vinson will kick it off for the Red Bay Tigers. Belmont and Red Bay ready to go from Red Bay High School. Jalen Vinson's kick on the way, comes to the left side from the 13, the 15, the 20, the 25, hit hard at the 30. And that's where the Cardinals will have it first down and 10. Number 14, Cade Rhodes on the return for Belmont. Yeah, that was a good positive return for Cade that time, Steve. Come across the ball cleanly and picked up a few yards. That's always been official on that kickoff return, pick up a few yards. They actually put the ball down at the 29-yard line, first and 10, Belmont. Lane split out here to the right. Rooker takes the out. Little quick hitter up to the 35 yard line for the Cardinals. Dominic Alvarez on the carry for Belmont. Yeah, that was a quick little dive play we run to Dominic and he picked up, uh, well, six yards, wasn't it, Steve? That's, that's a real good first down play for the Cardinals. Second and four now for Belmont.
Hacker and Lane split out to the left. Rooker will step under center on the second down play. Going to hand it off to Rhodes in motion. Rhodes is going to have the first down at the 40 for the Cardinals. Yeah, that was a good uh, play again for the Cardinals. Brought uh, Rhodes in motion, gave, gave the ball on that jet sweep. And uh, their defensive end did a good job. Old uh, Alex Kennedy and Cam McKinney made the tackle for the Tigers. But that's a good positive gain and first down for the Cardinals. Sparks drive in, best food around. They've been in business for over 35 years at the Sparks drive in. You'll find great breakfast each morning, a lunch buffet daily, Monday through Friday, also on Sundays at the Sparks drive in. Luke Smith split out to the far left, Lynch to the right. Garrett Rooker on first and 10 from the Cardinal 40, steps under center. He'll take the snap, he's looking to pass, got some time, got a man out here to the 45, to the 50. Rhodes knocked out of bounds at about the 42 of Red Bay. I, I love to see that, Steve, that little play action pass to the flats, been open all year, and uh, Rooker done a good job throwing, Rhodes caught the ball, and a good, big game for the Cardinals. Well, Scott, seems like when uh, Rooker has time to roll out, uh, he he has more time to throw it, you know. If he just drops back and stands there, it seems like that's when he we get in the most trouble. Well, that's been the case all year, Steve. And and as I've said all year, when you give Rooker enough time, he's going he's a good accurate thrower. But a lot of times we don't have enough time to get the ball off. Mayhan split to the far left, man in motion, hands it to the motion man off the right side, got the block. He's down to about the Red Bay 38, 37 yard line. Yeah, they brought Hacker in motion that time, gave the ball, make a little jet sweep around the right side. He did not get as much yard as Case to the left, but it's a good positive play on first down for the Cardinals. Pick up a four, second and six now for Belmont. Your Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. They still offer rebates on hot water heaters from gas to electric and electric to electric. Call them during normal business hours at 423 3646. Hacker and Lynch out to the left. Rhodes over here on the right side with Smith. Rhodes in motion. There's the snap, and now we're going to have movement, I believe, uh, on the Cardinals. Actually, we just cannot have that. Uh, you know, this has been a killer all year. Every time we get good drives going, we, we have those penalties, and they're just drive killers. And so now we're uh, back to sub five yards, put us behind the chains. And so uh, this offense for the Cardinals just does not function well when they get behind the chain, Steve. Redbud Supply, Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne on the broadcast. Also insurance services and dentist. See Nadita Trotter, Deborah Farr, your hometown agents for your home life, health, auto, Medicare supplements, much more. Insurance services and dentist, call them at 454-0054. Second and 10. Ball at the 41-yard line after the penalty. Rhodes in motion. There's the snap. We almost done it again. That there little screen goes incomplete for Hacker. Yeah, that was just confusion that time, Steve. The, the ball was snapped to Rooker, but the offensive line was a was at least two beats slow on getting off, and uh, the pressure was on Rooker before he knew it. He did, and uh, uh, Hacker was open over here in the flats on this left side, but didn't have enough time to get a good throw to him that time. Relay Mac Wallman, your Tishomingo County corner, preceding pay political paid for by Mac Wallman. So a third and 10 from the Tiger 41 yard line. These third and 10s are tough downs for this Cardinal offense. This, uh, this wing T, double wing, or single wing, either one are not designed for third and 10s. I think a little confusion on the play, and Belmont's going to call a timeout. Yeah, we still had more confusion that time. We're just trying to save what we can as far as the field possession, and uh, good to just call the timeout. You know, Steve, we had this drive picking right along, picking up five yards, seven yards, 15 yards, and, you know, you get that penalty, and you back this up and get us out of what we want to do, and we have a hard time overcoming those penalties. Sparks Contracting LLC, Jamie Sparks, new construction, commercial work, remodeling, painting, roofing, electric, and plumbing, concrete work at Sparks Contracting, licensed and insured, 23 years experience, call them at 662-523-5288. Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont, missing Dustin Brandon, 305 Second Street, falls around the corner, why not get a head start on decorating, stop by and see what they have to offer you at Wildflowers. Have one-of-a-kind jewelry, silk, and live flowers for all occasions. Call them at 454-1033 at Wildflowers. Flowers. 
Rooker looking to pass, got some time. Now he's going to have to pull it down and run it. If he can get a block, Scott Webster, he's going to be down to the 35. So That's a good play on Rooker's part. Had nowhere to throw the football. He had a little more time than he's been having, and I believe the Tigers got an injured player on the sideline over there, Steve. But that was a good play on Rooker's part, and uh, at least made his fourth down be manageable for the Cardinals. Levi Blanton a little slow getting up. He'll have to check out of the game now for the Tigers. So fourth and four now for Belmont. Miles Conks in the backfield. Hacker will move over here to the left side. Garrett Rooker steps under center, brings Rhodes in motion. They'll give it to Rhodes, trying to string it wide. And he gets away, cuts it back, but not going to get the first down. And Red Bay will take over possession of the football. Well, the Tigers done a good job that time stringing him out, Steve. And the, uh, Rose had a good job finally cutting it back. I thought he had a chance to get a first down. But they did a good job stringing him out that time. But at least we got him on their side of the field. And we can play good defense and get the ball back here, hopefully. So the Tigers will have it first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. Community Spirit Bank in Belmont for all your banking needs. Mike Montgomery and the staff call them at 454-0001. So the Tigers on first down. Vincent takes the snap, going to hand it off. Play coming to the left side. Across the 40 up to about the 43-yard line. Hunter King on the carry for the Tigers. Yeah, Cade Rose came up and made the tackle down low on uh, Hunter and got him on the ground finally. And uh, they gave the uh, 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 the action like they're going to pass. This big tall receiver over here to the to my side of the field in the sort of a hurry up offense now too. Vincent drops the ball, picks it up. Vincent to the 50, to the 45, to the 40. And they'll finally bring him down on a busted play, and they get it down to the Cardinal 15-yard line. Yeah, as you said, that was just a busted play. Uh, he done a good job just picking the ball up and getting what he could, and we had a hard time ever catching up with him, put him on the ground finally on the 15-yard line down here. Vincent on first and 10 from the Belmont 15. Jalen will take the snap, hands it off to number seven, Hunter King, and ball came loose. I believe the Cardinals, Cardinals are recovered. So the Cardinals come up with a turnover on the fumble by Red Bay. Steve, I believe number 50, Lane Young, came up with the football. So a break for the Cardinals. Yeah, it was a big break for the Cardinals, Steve. Uh, they got on the 15-yard line. Now we're on the 20, uh, headed back the other direction. Sometimes it's good to get those turnovers. Should have given them all the time, isn't it? Exactly. Luke Smith split out here to the right. Leans to the left. Garrett Rooker steps under center, takes the snap. Looking to pass. Pass on the way. Got Hacker incomplete. Got a penalty flag laid on the play, Steve, and I think that's going to be rough in the, rough in the pass or penalty. Rooker had uh, Hacker out here uh, open that time and just overshot him. And that is the call. They'll step it off against the Tigers, roughing the passer. That'll move the chains and give Belmont a first down at their own 35 now. Med Express of Red Bay, nurse practitioner Kayla Humphreys and the staff through their office Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5, to take care of all your medical needs. Appointments are preferred. Walk-ins are welcome at Med Express Red Bay. Call them at 356-8907. Garrett Rooker brings a man in motion. It'll go to the motion man. Hacker going to pick up maybe a yard on the play for the Cardinals. Yeah, we tried that jet sweep action again that time, Steve. And, uh, their defensive end, number two, Logan, I believe his name is Logan Wallace, the best I can remember. Uh, he done a good job of containing him, and they had some help come from the inside and put him on the ground. And so uh, that jet sweep worked a couple of times. They've got it sort of defended right now. 
Pickup of two, second and eight now. Jade Pounds, one of the Tigers in on the stop that time. Again, of about two, that'll bring up second and eight for the Cardinals. Lynch and Hacker to the left. Cade Rhodes split out here to the right. Rooker brings Rhodes in motion. Now looking to pass, steps up. And he's down to about the 41 yard line. Tigers trying to strip that ball loose, Scott Webster. Yeah, they certainly were. And I don't really know, Steve, if that was designed quarterback run or not. He, he pulled the ball down uh, fairly early on, didn't have much pressure. And from my vantage, one of them is a big hole that he could run in. And uh, the Tigers did a good job of closing that hole up very quickly, though. And so I thought it was going to be a big game. It's not all that big when it, got, when it was all said and done. 6.17 to go in the opening quarter. Third and four for Belmont at the 41. They'll pitch it back. Up close to that first down marker. I believe he's going to have it if that spot holds over there. That guy will be you. That ought to move the chains, and it does. First down, Cardinals. River Ford on the carry that time, Scott Webster. Yeah, he done a good job fighting for yardage, Steve. And um, I noticed him that we are substituting more liberally tonight on as far as our offense. And I think we're going to try to keep some players fresher than we have in the past. Uh, I'll talk this minute about red base uh, in just a minute, sideline. Here's a handoff off the right side. Hacker up close to midfield. Steve, what I was going to say, Red Bay, uh, I noticed across the way over there, they've got some cheers. They've actually got uh, – their offensive, most of their offensive team right now is sitting down in cheers, getting a breather and, uh, for a two-way football team and high school football. That's very unusual. And so uh, the Cardinals are doing a good job right now uh, putting some players in. We can keep resting ourselves. And so that's probably what the is going to be this evening. Belmont Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore, Kathy Kellum, and Belmont. For all your weightlifting, powerlifting, cross-training, and serious exercising supplements, You'll see them at Belmont Pharmacy. You can also get them at Red Bay Pharmacy. Don't forget their digital kiosk photo maker. Call them at 454-9902 at Belmont Pharmacy. Deaton Funeral Homes, Belmont and Red Bay, serving the area since 1945. Now their fourth generation of service. Real like Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancery Clerk. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Our desire is to serve you. 5.37 to go in the opening quarter. No score between the Cardinals and the Tigers, Tigers headed at the Cardinal 15 and turned it over. Belmont has drove it down now to the 49 yard line of the Cardinals. Second and six now for Belmont. Here at Rooker, steps under center. Rooker, gonna hand it to Rhodes. Rhodes gets by. Scott Webster, he got a whole lot more than I thought he was going to, and we got a penalty marker over there. Yeah, uh, Red Bay kept stringing him out, and he finally got uh, past some of the defenders, and that tendency there when you get past him is to, if you're blocking that guy, to sort of hold on to him. And I saw it happen before my own eyes, and it's a good holding penalty as far as being legitimate. That's going to back us up, put us in bad uh, position once again. After the penalty, back to the 38-yard line. Second down and 18 now for Belmont. After the markoff, that's going to bring up a second and 18 for Belmont. On the second down play, Garrett Rooker takes the snap. Looking to pass. Nobody's open. Garrett is going to go down way back at the 27-yard line. Yeah, I, I thought Rooker thought he could come around this left corner uh, and escape that pressure. And actually, one of his own offensive linemen bumped into him, didn't have nowhere to go. And it was a big loss. Might have been better through the ball away. But, uh, you know, Kia trying to make a play best he can. And that was a bad loss for the Cardinals. Again, Steve, this Cardinal offense is not designed for third down and whatever it is. I guess it's getting close to 30. Defense, 
Third and 27. Now we got movement, I yeah. believe. Now we call a timeout. Yeah, we actually called a timeout. It's a good thing we did because we had a we had a running back never did get set, and so it had been a penalty on us, and uh, so Coach Coker had to call a timeout. Rita's Restaurant back in Dennis. Hours are Thursday and Friday, 3.30 to 10. Saturdays, 2 to 10. Country Buffet on Thursday night. Seafood Bar on Friday and Saturday night. Order off the menu at any time as well. Call them at 662-279-2884. Reader's Restaurant in Dennis. Tiffin Motorhomes featuring Allegro, Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff, Golden Road, Red Bay. Ronald Thorne, your good neighbor insurance agent, now riding insurance in Mississippi from his Red Bay office on Main Street. For your home, auto, personal, whatever your need may be, call Ronald Thorne, your State Farm insurance agent, at 356-4459. Real Lake Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chantry Clerk. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Our desire is to serve you. Preceding pay political paid for by Peyton Cummings. This is a big, long third down for the Cardinal offense, Steve, and I think the most important thing is just take care of the football. Uh, we do not want to turn the ball over in this end of the football field. Uh, just get the most you can and punt the ball away and play good defense. Here, Rooker takes the snap. Pass on the way, incomplete. And it's fourth down for Belmont. You know, that pass is 44, Jay Mahan. Uh, Jay had a chance to catch the ball. It was down a little bit low, but he still had a chance to catch the ball, but it had been well short of the first down. And so uh, Rooker's going to step back and punt the ball away for the Cardinals. Mason Holt drops back for the Red Bay Tigers. And I can tell you one thing, Scott Webster, he's fast. Yeah, he is fast, Steve. There's no doubt about that. I, I believe he's best judging Rooker's punting ability, though. It keeps creeping up. And Good like hang that. time calls for the fair catch. Going to take a cardinal bounce. Yeah. I was watching Mason. He kept creeping up close the line of scrimmage, and I thought Rooker probably kicked it over his head, and that's exactly what he had done. Uh, Rooker's good quarterback. He's also a good kicker as well. It's a beautiful punt that uh, had a big role for the Cardinals. Red Bay Tigers will have it first and 10 at their own 22. Don't forget, you can get a copy of tonight's game available on DVD. Contact Jack or Denise Ivey at 454-9797. Red Bay trips to the right, one man to the left. Jalen Vinson takes the snap, looking to pass. Here it comes off the right side, complete. Up to the 35, breaks a tackle up close to the 39-yard line. Mason Holt with a reception for Red Bay. Yeah, Mason was left open that time with the Cardinal defense. We're going to do a better, good, uh, better job defending him and also uh, after the catch, making a good tackle. If we don't, he'll be going to the end zone. Milligan Ready Mix for your mulch, landscaping rock, curb stops, and pet monuments. They're located at 025 North in Iuka. Call them at 423 Six two three eight. They split three again to the right, one to the left. Vincent will take the snap. He's looking to pass. Got plenty of time. One on one coverage, and this one incomplete. He had hold over here. He did, Steve. And it just went right through Holt's hands. A matter of fact, and uh, thus far they throw to Mason most of the time. This big tall receiver, I think, part of the best receiver. They would probably tell you. And uh, they've not gone to him. Get number twenty-two on this far side. So second and 10 now for the Tigers at the 39 of Red Bay. Jalen Vinson works it out of the gun, takes the snap. This time they're going to hand it off. Good job of the Cardinals. He getting the yard on the play. King on the carry. Yes, sir, number 74, Miguel Marino uh, on that good tackle for the Cardinal defense. So Red Bay looking at a third and nine. Scott Webster looking for that pass across the middle here. Oh, yes. Uh, it's, it's very obvious that that's going to be the Tiger tendency, uh, Steve. This try to come out throwing the ball, and I uh, no doubt they're going to throw this time. I'd watch that slant number Mason and hold on your side of the field, uh, maybe on a slant right here. Brings a man in motion. Vincent takes the snap. Here's the little screen out here. Incomplete. Good coverage that time by Hacker. Yeah, he, had, he was all over Umphers. He was, and it was over the – he really had nowhere to throw the ball, and so he had to throw it over his head. That runs up fourth down for the Tigers. So 
Uh, the Cardinal team to be commended, playing good defense, Steve. So Red Bay. Caleb Bragwell will punt it away for the Tigers. Cade Rhodes back for Belmont. Cade standing at the 27-yard line. There's the snap back, low snap. Bragwell gets it off. Rhodes ought to be able to return this one. He'll take it at the 22 to the 25, and that's where the Cardinals will have it first down. Good coverage that time by the Tigers. They did have good coverage, Steve, but uh, certainly want to come in. Cade Rhodes for catching the football. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to let that thing bounce and get a big roll for the Tigers. And so he done a good job fielding the football. Didn't have nowhere to run, but that was a good positive, uh, positive play. Golden Dreams Jewelry, Paulette and Fanker Embry next to the post office in Belmont. Romance the love of your life by giving her a diamond as rare as she is unique at Golden Dreams Jewelry. Call them at 454-3158. Golden Dreams Jewelry. Handoff. River Ford squeezes away from them up to about the 32-yard line. Yeah, actually at that time River run right into the blocker that was trying to get him a block and uh, uh, bounced off him and finally picked up some good positive yards on first down. That's a real good play first down. Looks like about second and two, Steve. Is that, am, I, am I right on that? Yep, second and two. Pick up of eight for the Cardinals. Garrett Rooker steps under center. Rooker takes the snap. And the Cardinals will have the loose. first down ball. Cardinals fall on it, though. Yeah, the ball came loose, but uh, Rooker fell on the football. It's going to be enough for a Cardinal first down. Well, we're going to take care of the football, Steve. We don't need no turnovers. So first and 10 Cardinals at the 37-yard line. We're in the first quarter, a minute 13 to go. No score. Red Bay High School, Steve Bates, Scott Webster, Byron Hellams. Rhodes and Lynch split out here to the far right. Rooker on first down, going to pitch it back. Good hard running, knocked out of bounds. Uh, a penalty bounds. flag come loose. Yep. Sorry to interrupt you, but a penalty flag come on behind the play there, Steve. Good run by Miles Cox. Well, it's a good run by Miles. I hate that to be took away by a penalty, but I think that's what's going to happen. There is a penalty flag on the play. Holding against the Cardinals, that'll put the ball down at the Cardinal 33-yard line. Another drive killer, I'm afraid, Steve. That's that's just bad. Uh, that's just bad, uh, bad luck for the Cardinals. Get caught on that holding penalty. First and 15 now. After the penalty, Garrett Rooker brings Rhodes in motion. It'll go to Rhodes. Rhodes following his block and ball. Oh, no. Rooker still got the ball. Well, Scott Webster, he got me on that one. Well, he did me too for a minute, Steve, and I finally figured out what's going on. And uh, Rooker was jiving here and uh, faking here, and he finally uh, probably run 30 yards on that play, Steve, and didn't pick up very much, but uh, he was doing the best he could, no doubt about that. I tell you what, this, this, this Garrett Rooker, he's a really tough football player. And that will be the last play of the first quarter at the end of one for Red Bay High School. Now my Cardinal zero and the Red Bay Tigers zero, Scott Webster. Well, that's exactly right, Steve. And you know, they might be some surprised people at uh, home just look at these records, but you know, uh, Red Bay 4-0, right number 10 in the state of Alabama. And uh, Belmont, we've only won one ball game this year, Steve. But now, you know, records, don't tell everybody, don't, don't tell the whole story sometimes, Steve. And, uh, you know, the, the Cardinal record could be a whole lot different, just a few breaks here and there for the Cardinal team, and we'd have a lot more wins if we do losses, that's for sure. And so uh, that was a real good quarter of football for the Belmont Cardinals, real tough play, a lot of effort exerted, and I uh, certainly want to commend the young men for that. 
Well, Scott Webster, one thing you said about the Cardinal schedule, we have 11 games this year, no open date, and, and you know and I know as well, we played three 4A schools back to back to back three weeks in a row there. That's exactly right, Steve. And, uh, you know, these young men, uh, I'm going to tell you now, uh, the folks at home in their air conditioning, they don't realize how hot and humid these, uh, this football field are. It's been that way all year. And they, these kids have played real hard football. And so, uh, you know, just because a record only has one win, that don't mean a whole lot because uh, uh, we've got a lot better football team that one, uh, that one win record shows. And, and so we go out to keep playing football. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a chance in the uh, region play to do something special. But I, that's what my thinking is anyway. Appreciate Kenny Carson. Vote Kenny Carson for your Tishomingo County Circuit Court Clerk. Kenny runs the independent candidate. Go out November 5th. Vote for Kenny Carson, preceding paid political, paid for by Kenny Carson. And the Cardinals have that big old tall receiver I've been talking about, the tight end split all the way to my side, Steve. And so I wonder if we got anything designed for him this evening. Garrett Rooker will step under center, brings Hacker in motion. It's going to go to Hacker. Hacker. Yeah, this, uh, these receivers, when you run those jet sweeps, Steve, uh, those plays are contingent upon your receivers being able to block the defender. And if you don't get that defender blocked by a wide receiver, you're not going to pick up much yards. And that time we have a difficult time getting that, uh, that defender blocked. So a third and 11 now coming up for Belmont. Ball at the 36 of the Cardinals. So on this third and 11 play, Rooker looking to pass, squares up, got a man out here, incomplete, he had Cade Rhodes. Yeah, uh, the ball was in Cade's hands, and I, I believe, look what I could see, Steve, he had some yards to gain if he could uh, made the completion, but uh, I just went through his hands, and we had to punt away and play defense. Mason Hole to drop back for the Red Bay Tigers. Garrett Rooker will punt it away for Belmont. Bell, your District 21 representative on our broadcast. Hope backing up a little more this time, Scott Oh, yeah, that uh, Red Bay coaching staff is hollering from the back up a little bit further. Has to pick that one off the ground. Good high punt from Garrett Rooker. And the Cardinals will down it at the 33-yard line. That's where the Tigers will have it first and 10. The ball will be down at the 33-yard line. Red Bay will have the ball at that point, first and 10. Well, Scott Webster, one thing we've seen on one of those drives with Mason Holt, he got it uh, ahead of the Cardinal defender there. Yes, yeah, Steve, we only have one safety. You know, when they, put, uh, when they put three receivers to one side, that safety has to go over there and, and uh, like he is this time, the safety's going to come up and uh, cover one of those receivers, and so that leaves a uh, uh, vulnerability back there. His pass this time as well. Vincent overshoots Mason Hold. He had thrown in a double coverage there for the Cardinals. Yeah, I don't really know what he was what he was thinking he had there on that play, but uh, we had the re the intended receiver anyway was well covered, as you say, a double covered, as a matter of fact. Second and 10 now for the Tigers. It'd be good for this defensive line to get some pressure on uh, the Red Bay quarterback. That'd help a whole lot this evening. Trips to the left, one to the right. Jalen Vinson on second and 10. He'll take the snap, looking to pass again. Here it comes. Got Mason Holt wide open at the 40. And they'll bring him down. Cade Rhodes saved a touchdown for the Cardinals. Yeah, they bring those three receivers this side and throw back to the short side of the football field, that one receiver. And, and I don't know, that was a breakdown on the Cardinal part because that young man was wide open, Steve. I could have caught that football. Just outside the 20-yard line. So first and 10 Tigers at the Belmont 21-yard line. Triple D's bucket service. Barney, Brandon, Dustin, Dick try the best to meet all your high-reach needs. Trim and remove trees, debris removal, stump grinding, clean steeples. Call them at 279-7500, triple Ds. There's the handoff. Colin offers on the carry for Red Bay. Number 22, Garrett, Garrett Rooker, one of the Cardinals in on the stop. Jay Mahan as well. Second and seven. Now for Red Bay. T. 
10-16 to go here in the second quarter. Vinson steps under center. Looks like a little power football here for the Red Bay Tigers. Garrett Rooker's helmet comes off. Yeah, the Tigers got in that power formation, as you say, Steve, and uh, went over the right side of the line that time, got some good yards. We're going to buckle down and get that stopped. Uh, but they've not been very successful in rushing the football, but this power formation seems to be working for the Tigers right now. So the Tigers have it first and goal at the Cardinal eight-yard line. Jalen Vinson will step under center. Vinson going to keep it. Got one man to beat. He blocks him off, and he'll walk into the end zone for the touchdown. They lined it up in the power, and Vinson takes it around the left side for a touchdown. Yeah, just as the stat show for the Tigers, when uh, when it gets down to the nitty-gritty, the quarterback going to keep the ball most of the time, Steve, and that's what happened on that play as well. We only had one defender out here, Steve, trying to make the tackle, and he had two guys trying to block him. They did a good job of blocking him. He just, couldn't make the, could, just could, could not make the tackle, excuse me. So 9.20 to go here in the second quarter. Red Bay gets on the board. Conversion coming up now for the Tigers. Jalen Vinson will work it out of the gun on this two-point conversion. Brings a man in motion. Going to give it to the motion man. And he gets in there, Arden Hamilton, with a two-point conversion. Red Bay leads it 8 to nothing. Yeah, the second effort got the two-point conversion for the uh, running back for the Tigers. Your hometown pizza in Belmont on a broadcast, open 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., located 7 Yarbor Street, Great Salad Bar at Hometown Pizza. They now have the new patio. Come enjoy Belmont's back porch. Also use their convenient drive through Call ahead. You can dine in or carry out. 4540202 is the number at your hometown pizza in Belmont. Appreciate Bronk and Criddle Insurance bringing you Cardinal Sports. For all your insurance needs, Randy, Ricky, or Jeff Criddle, call them at 454-9800 for new to Medicare. Call Criddle Insurance. They save you money and get some good solid coverage you rely on. Medicare supplement plans, Medicare Advantage plans, dental, vision, hearing, long-term care, life insurance, and annuities at Bronk and Criddle Insurance. So the Tigers ready to kick it off. Jalen Vinson will kick it for the Tigers. Hacker, the deep man, and the kick on the way. Across the 20, the 25, the 30, 35, up close to the 38-yard line. Cade Rhodes on the return for the Cardinals. That's a good positive return by Cade. That's a better return than we've been getting most of the time this year, Steve. And so, you know, those good returns only help you off this. Yes, we start to need more of that this evening. Red Bay Hospital bring tonight's game. Don't forget their inpatient, outpatient rehab transition care, outpatient surgery clinic therapy, lab, and radiology services. Red Bay Hospital, 356-9532. So Garrett Rooker, step under center on this first down play. Here it comes off the left side. Rhodes nowhere to go that time for the Cardinals. Yeah, Cade uh, actually had two uh, offensive linemen, well, offensive linemen are tied in, trying to block, and he actually ran around uh, his blockers, and so uh, as an offensive lineman, I'd want that running back to be a little bit more patient to stay behind me and let me try to make a block. But you know, those running backs have a hard time doing that. Stay, they want get, get uh, they want to get gone, and I don't blame them for that by any means. But uh, anyway, we're doing our best to get that thing blocked for K that time. Second down and 16 now for Belmont. There's the snap. They'll hand. Rooker looking to pass. Got a man incomplete trying to hit Cade Rhodes. Number 22, Rooker. Yeah, he was uh, uh, the intended Rhodes. receiver, as you mentioned, Steve. Now, he was well covered, and uh, really, I think Rooker just had to throw the ball away, really. 
Don't forget at Red Bay Hospital, the Community Health Fair, Wednesday, October 9th, 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Health screening, door prizes, refreshments, sponsored by the Red Bay Hospital, Med Express, Keller Home Care, and Generations of Red Bay, the Community Health Fair, Wednesday, October the 9th, 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at the Red Bay Hospital. Third and 16, R Hacker was in motion. Garrett trying to square up and throw it. Hit as he throws it. Incomplete, almost intercepted by the Tigers. Well, Steve, uh, I tell you, Steve, if that was not pass interference on the defense, on the defense, uh, I don't guess I've ever saw one. Uh, they had two defenders on the backside of our receiver. Uh, with their hands all over him, had one on the front side uh, with their hands on him, but uh, it was not called. We're going to punt the ball away. So Garrett Rooker will punt it away for Belmont. Mason Holt will stand at his 35 yard line. Good snap this time back to Rooker. Rooker nails another one. Holt calls for and makes the fair catch at the 33 yard line. Yeah, that was a good punt by Rooker again. Uh, I understand that Mason Holt's a pretty dangerous return man. I know he took one long touchdown uh, kick back already this year, and so I kick that ball up high and get good coverage, make him call for the fair catch. B&G Recycling, formerly known as Nelson Metals, they buy your cans, aluminum, steel, copper, old cars, your gold jewelry. Two locations to serve you, Belmont and Fulton. Belmont, call them at 454-7500. In Fulton, 862-3119. Business hours Monday through Friday, 8 to 430. They're closed on Saturday and Sunday. B&G Recycling. Tigers run it off the right side and up close to a first down. That was a real quick dive play the Tigers run that time. And uh, we didn't get off our blocks, and they got a first down for the Tigers. Hunter King will pick up a Tiger first down on that carry. Seven thirty-eight to go in the second quarter. Red Bay leading at eight to nothing. Three receivers to the left, one to the right, and now we got. I believe a timeout, that is timeout Tigers. I tell you, Steve, these uh, the matchups we have on this three receiver to one side, uh, offensive set by the Tigers is not very favorable for, for the Cardinals. Uh, we're going to, we, we've actually got defensive ends and uh, sometimes even I saw a defensive tackle want to go actually out trying to cover one of those receivers and uh, thus far, the Tigers have not come to this side with the three receivers. They went back to the short side of the field to the single receiver, but uh, we want to, we're going to do something, Steve. It just don't look very good if they want to pick on this side with our defensive tackle. You know, now I don't care what kind of uh, player you are, a, a defensive end, a defensive tackle is going to have a hard time covering a wide receiver, Steve. Appreciate H&R Blanc, Iuka, Red Band, Fulton, your tax professionals, also Sunshine Mills, makers of that great dog, cat food and treats. Grace Long Real Estate, Iuka. Let us help you sell your home at Grace Long Real Estate. Piggly Wiggly, Belmont, Iuka, and Red Bay. Down home, down the street, inside your Piggly Wiggly, Belmont, you'll find the Belmont Ace Hardware. We've got a defensive end, Jay Mahan, out here on Colin Humphreys right now for the Tigers. Vincent looking to pass. Got a man wide open. It is complete. Pass is yeah. Number he just got behind him on that... Uh, Straight fly pattern, Steve, and uh, Art done a good job catching the ball for the Tigers, and we're going to get that young man covered somehow or another, though. So with that completion to Arden Hamilton, first and 10 Tigers at the Belmont 27-yard line. So Jalen Vinson works it out of the gun on first down. There's a snap. They're going to hand it off. Good coverage that time. He's down close to the 36, or 26, excuse me. Yeah, I was trying to get the young man's number. I believe that was number 21. Yeah, it was Hunter Borksham on the tackle, Steve, for the Cardinals. So Hunter King picks up three, second and seven now for the Tigers at the Belmont 26-yard line. 
Sid's Trading Company. Don't forget they got those Bush Hog Zero Turn Mowers. They're dependable and solid, offered in a state commercial and professional series. Go out to Sid's Highway 25 South and IU can check out the Bush Hogs. Vincent, I believe, going to have a flag. Offsides against the Cardinal defense, Scott. I suppose, Steve, we must have had one lined up in the neutral zone. I didn't see anybody cross the line of scrimmage, I didn't think, but he might have must have been lined up offsides. Ball just shy of the 20-yard line. Second and three. That's the official on this side of the field. He's our players in the neutral zone that last play. Clock continues to roll, 6.25 to go second quarter, 8-0 Red Bay Cardinals. Now here comes the pass by Vinson, incomplete. Yeah, uh, Rose was behind Mason Holt that time and could have probably made the tackle, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm thankful that uh, it went through Mason's hand that time, and so that's going to bring up third down, if I'm not mistaken. So a third and three now for Red Bay. Tonight's game brought to you by... Ronnie Cook and Modern Woodman of America to plan for your financial future and learn about member benefits. Get to know your Modern Woodman representative and give Ronnie Cook a call at 662-423-8477. Tigers will be in that power formation, Steve. Benson takes it, hands it off. Umphers on the carry that time for the Tigers. That's going to be a little bit short of the first down, Steve. So Red Bay We've got a flag on the play. Personal foul against Red Bay. Well, that's a big penalty for the Tigers. That, that really benefits the Cardinals. That's a big penalty, personal foul penalty. So they'll step off the penalty against Red Bay. At the Cardinal 31-yard line. And it's going to be fourth and 13 now for Red Bay. Yeah, we're going to watch that pass. The, we're going to get Mason Holt for sure. And this big, tall receiver, Arden Hamilton, covered for the Tigers. Is that going to be a heat timeout? A uh, heat timeout by the official with 6 6 to go in the second quarter. The Tigers leading it 8 to nothing. Scott, this is going to be a fourth down for this Cardinal defense right here. This is a real big play for the Cardinal defense. We don't need to give up anything on fourth and 13, Steve. That's one of the downs you need to make uh, uh, good, clean, sure tackles. Uh, and, and let's get these receivers covered. Uh, as I've said, it's obvious that this Tiger team is going to be mostly a passing team in the nitty-gritty. And uh, they've got some speedy receivers, Steve. You know, we have faced uh, we have faced some speedy receivers this year. And, uh, and I guess that Mason Holt is probably as fast as we played all year, probably even the guy from, from Morville even. And so we're going to get him covered and uh, may have to get some help on that side of the field. Michael Haney, proud supporter of our local teams, looks forward to working for you as your next Justice Court judge of the South half. Hopes to see you on the campaign trail and earn your vote. Vote for the Lake Michael Haney, Justice Court Judge South Half on November 5th, the working man's judge, preceding paid political, paid for by Michael Haney. Also, Belmont Chiropractic, Dr. Chris Moss, located next door to the store Belmont Hotel, serving Belmont surrounding areas since 1998. They're accepting new patients, ready to help you in any way they can at Belmont Chiropractic with Dr. Chris Moss. So, on 4th and 13, yeah, I would be surprised if the ball don't come to my side of the field, Steve. Arden Hamilton's on my side of the field, and uh, Mason's to your side of the field. Vincent Rose going to have to pull it down, and the Cardinals are going to bring him down. Cardinals will take Cardinal over. Defense, the Cardinal defense had good coverage all over the field that time, Steve. The only thing uh, uh, the quarterback could do is just pull it down. They made a good clean tackle on him, and it's our ball. So uh, they're big defense to stand by the Cardinals that time. Econo Stores, the only climate control storage in the area. Haskell Sparks, locations in Belmont and Tishomingo. Call them at 423-8767. Available at the Red Bay Fire Department. 
pharmacy on Golden Road. Josh McNatch, Republican candidate, ready to work for you as your Tishomingo County Circuit Court Clerk. Josh, thanks all who voted for him in the runoff. Ask those who didn't vote for him to consider Josh McNatch as your Circuit Court Clerk. He is asking for and appreciates your vote and consideration on November 5th, preceding paid political paid for by Josh McNatt. Second quarter, 5.55 to go. Red Bay leads it 8 to nothing. We'll have your Belmont Cardinal marching band. They'll be coming up for you at the half. It's time for the Cardinals to get back on the offensive side of the football now, Steve, and uh, utilize that entire wing T offense that we have, those dives and counters and sweeps as well. And I promise you if we can do that and, uh, and gain four or five yards at a time, that play action pass will open up as well out here to the flat especially. That play action pass, the flat, has been open almost every time it's been attempted this year, Steve. Garrett Rooker on first down. Hands it off up close to the 25-yard line. Rhodes on the carry that time for Belmont, Scott. Yeah, the, the Tigers doing a good job on those end of rounds, Steve, on those jet sweeps and things we're trying to run. Uh, uh, their defensive end doing a good job of containing that and keeping everything funneled back to the inside. And then they got their linebackers coming uh, and cleaning the plays up. And so uh, we're going to do something besides that right now, Steve. Maybe it'll open up after a while again for us. Gain of a yard on that play, second and nine now for Belmont. Garrett Rooker steps under center, takes the snap. Coming off the right side to Hacker, Hacker. And it's gonna be third down for Belmont. Yeah, there again, Steve, the... Uh, just couldn't get the block, could this no, no, they couldn't, Steve, and uh, we actually had one guy here trying to block and he had uh, he had two defenders to try to block. He had Jake Pounds, number three for the Tigers, and also number five, Cam McKinney. Uh, the, the Tigers' speed on defense is getting that uh, those end of rounds and jet sweeps uh, just stuffed out pretty fast right now. On third and eight, Garrett Rooker takes the snap, looking to pass. Here it comes, incomplete. Yeah, I, no doubt Garrett wants that pass back to, for a do-over, but there's no do-overs in football. But uh, uh, I, I believe our receiver was open, just did not get a good pass that time. And, and actually, Rooker had enough time to make a, make a good throw that time. Is that a 28 coming off by you over there? Because I don't have him on my roster here. Uh, there's a 26 just come off. That's Alec Hogan. Okay, that might be new. So Rooker will punt it away. Good high punt. It'll take a cardinal roll. Good cardinal roll before it goes out of bounds. He's going to put it at the 42-yard line. Yeah, that was a good high punt. It didn't get the distance that Rooker normally gets, but uh, there was no return, and that's always a positive thing. And we need to play good defense today. We don't give up a score right here for halftime, and, and, and you just better believe that the Tigers are going to be throwing the football, and so we're going to have to keep our, uh, keep our man covered, Steve. Benson looking to pass. Got a man wide open over the middle, complete into Cardinal territory. Number 22, Arden Hamilton with a reception. Yeah, Steve, he just come wide open. There was not a, uh, there was not a Cardinal defender anywhere around him. It was some type of breakdown on their defense part. And we're going to Boer next right here, Steve. Play good defense, keep out of the end zone. Uh, under four to go in the first half. From the Belmont 29, Vincent takes the snap. He's going to hand it off. Hunter King on the carry. Number 50, Lane Young was the primary attacker, and 21, Hunter Borksham as well for the Cardinals. So second down now for the Tigers and six. I'd watch that fly pattern right here to 22. Vincent going to dump it off. 
Umper is knocked out of bounds inside the 10. It's going to be first and goal for the Tigers of Red Bay. Yeah. Garrett had his man covered. Garrett had uh, Arden Hamilton covered that time for the Tigers and uh, put it off into the flat, so we had to come up and make a good tackle finally. That was number 17 for the Tigers. I believe that's Colin Humphreys. Two forty-five to go here in the second quarter. It's first and goal, stay the ball just inside the 10 yard line for the Tigers. Jalen Vincent steps under center. Going to go to number seven, Hunter King again. Yeah, Jay Mahan was, uh, got him down. He actually leaped over the pile and actually brought himself down. Jay just touched him, but uh, uh, he was leaping like he's on the goal line, Steve. Yeah, we got your Belmont Cardinal marching band coming up at the half. Vincent takes the snap. Here it goes again. Up in it at about what the three yard line. Hunter King on the carry for the Tigers. Yeah, they're gonna mark it about the three yard line. So a uh, well, third and goal now for Red Bay. Well, I don't know, Scott, but if I was gonna say, I'd be really watching Jalen Vincent on this one. Oh yes, sir. As we said, that's the tendency, Steve. They get in that power formation. Uh, I would not be surprised if Jalen don't uh, sneak it around this end. Timeout by the Red Bay Tigers. So a third and go when play resumes at the Cardinal three. Red Bay leads it eight to nothing with a minute 32 to go here before half. Yeah, it'd be really good if we could get them held right here, Steve. Don't give another touchdown for halftime, but uh, they're going to be in that power formation. But as we talked about for the timeout, I'd, be not, I'd not be a bit surprised if uh, Jalen just don't uh, fake it to one of those backs and just keep it and come around to my side of the field is what I would, would predict, Steve. Red Lake Gina McNadd, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Good luck to all the Tishomingo County teams from Gina McNadd. Willow Lane Record Service, tire store and oil chain. Don't forget the record service is available to you 24-7. Call them at 454-3002. Willow Lane Record Service. Stone's Jewelry, family owned and operated for 41 years. Rippling Tupelo. Jewelry repairs done in the store. When you think of jewelry, think of the Stones. Joanne and Teresa wishing the Cardinals good luck here tonight. So a third and goal from the three. Jalen Vinson will step under center. There's the snap. Here he goes off the right side. Vinson, Cardinals playing at that time. He got into the end zone for the touchdown. Same exact play I predicted, Steve. He came to your side, to the my side that time, and uh, we done a good job striking him out, but he still got into the end zone. 14 to nothing Tigers now with a minute 23 to go. And the conversion coming up for Red Bay. Hunter King, the deep man. Here's the snap. It's going to go to King. King pires his way in there. The conversion is good. 16 to nothing Red Bay with a minute 23 to go before half. Well, that was a big play to give up here right before half, Steve. We're going to keep our head in this ball game. You know, we got down. Uh, we got down 16 or so points last week as the Whalen come back made a game of it, Steve. So we're going to keep playing. Don't need you getting frustrated. Just keep your head up and keep playing. Josh McNatch, your Republican candidate, ready to work for future Tishomingo County Circuit Court Clerk. Josh thanks all who voted for him in the runoff. Ask those who didn't vote for him to consider Josh McNatch, your Circuit Court Clerk, on November 5th. Preceding paid political paid for by Josh McNatch. Belmont Mayor Buddy Wilshire, Alderman Craig Bell, Mike Harris, Sonia Harris, Brandon Farr, Steve Ratliff. Wishing the Cardinals good luck here tonight. Also, Northeast Mississippi Community College. Don't forget, they got that four-day instructional week featuring online, short-term, and hybrid classes at affordable costs for you at Northeast. Call them toll-free at 
Number 10, Benson, will be kicking off for the Tigers. And number 14, and Rose, back to receive the kick. That one's going to get into the end zone. Cardinals. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. So the Cardinals will have it first and 10 at the 20. Well, the ball going in the end zone was the best thing the Cardinals can say about that kickoff, Steve. At least it was a touchback. So Belmont with a minute 23 to go. Cardinals will come to the line of scrimmage. Lane split out to the far right. Garrett Rooker, play clock down to 10, steps under center, takes a snap. Going to hand it off right up the middle. Yeah, he gave the ball off on a quick uh, hitter to Alvarez that time. He got some good positive yards on first down for the Cardinal offense. Pick up a four, second and six now for Belmont. Five, bring up a second and five for Belmont. Your Belmont Cardinal marching band will be coming up for you at the half. So Rooker off the right side to River Ford. River up in it at about the 30, maybe the 31. That'll be enough to move the chains for Cardinal first down. That's a good play on River's part again, Steve. We're coming in that jet sweep action again. And uh, instead of coming all the way to the corner that time, he cut it up for the first hole he found on the inside. And I got enough for a Cardinal first down. Down to 34, skits to go. Garrett Rooker will step under center, takes the snap, going to hand it off. Cade Rhodes knocked out of bounds. Number 14, Cade Rhodes is pushed out of bounds by number 20, Hunter Burks. Yeah, that's one of those plays all the way to the sideline again, Steve. And the Tigers done a good job for the most part, except that one good play by Cade to begin the ball game of uh, striking their runner out and uh, letting the sideline be an extra defender for them. So with 11 seconds. Before half, second and nine, man in motion. Garrett Rooker will take it, and we got flags. A penalty flag on the play. So we'll check out the penalty marker. That'll go against the Cardinals, Scott. Yeah, right here before halftime, Steve just got uh, a little procedure penalty on us, but uh, I think we're just supposed to go and run this clock out, go to half, try to regroup. Garrett Rooker with 11 seconds, takes the snap. Going to hand it off to Ford. River going to be brought down at the 38-yard line. And that will do the first half. At the end of two from Red Bay High School tonight, the Red Bay Tigers lead it over the Belmont Cardinals by a score of 16 to nothing. Your thoughts on the first half, Scott? Well, I thought the Cardinals played a pretty decent first half of football, Steve. Had a few things go our way, and uh, then we had those uh, uh, penalties that sort of killed some drives we had going and uh, they were getting the end zone. And I, I really hated to give up that touchdown to the Tigers right before half. I, I was really hoping to keep them out of the end zone and make it an eight nothing ball game. But, uh, you know, the car was right in the thick of this thing and we're going to just uh, eliminate those penalties and, uh, and no turnover and, and, and just keep playing hard and see what's going to happen in the second half. Stay tuned, your Belmont Cardinal marching band is coming up. This is WRMG TV 12 and Television 97. Would you welcome to the field the Belmont Cardinal marching band? Tonight, the band will be performing the music of legendary Latin rock guitarist Carlos Santana. We'll open the show with Smooth, Santana's collaboration with Rob Thomas. Then we'll move on to the rich Latin rhythms of Oye Tamava, 
Our closer, you've got to change your evil ways, made it, made it to number nine on the Billboard chart. Our band is under the direction of Rick Merle, and our color guard instructor is Emily Shallock. The band is under the field direction of Kristen Rubel. Drum Major, is your band ready to take the field? Please give a warm welcome to the Cardinal Band as they perform the music of Carlos Santana.
please. But all the members of the alumni band who just performed, please meet in the north end zone, just beyond the end zone, closest to the concession stand for a picture opportunity. Third quarter line ready to get underway for Red Bay High School as the Tigers lead it over the Cardinals by a score of 16 to nothing. Relic John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff. He's honest, dependable, a sheriff you can count on. Thanks you for your support and confidence you have put in him. Wishes all the Tishomingo County teams good luck. Preceding paid political paid for by John Dennis Darty. Tishomingo County Braves leading it over the Alcorn Central Golden Bears at the half tonight by a score of 14 to nothing. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent, helping you is what we do best in Belmont for your life, home, auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplement, tax deferred duties. Call Mike Harris at 454-9624. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau number agent. Two, Garrett Rooker will be kicking off of Belmont. And back to receive the kick, number nine, Mason Holt. Mason Holt will Draw back to receive this kickoff from the Cardinals as we get ready for the third quarter to get underway. Walnut leads South Pontotoc 27-0 at the half tonight. Kick on the way. Holt's going to receive it at the 5. Hold across the 10, the 15. Holt to the 20, to the 22. Across the 25, to the 30. Cuts back. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 34-yard line. Out of bounds at about the 34-yard line. Itawamba leading it over Houston, 24 to 14. Number seven, Lou Smith, and on the tackle for Belmont. Steve, I have another player that is injured for the Belmont Cardinals. At the rate things are going, we're going to have two benches put all of our injured players on. But number 74, Miguel Marino, is out for the rest of the ball game, having some health problems on the sideline this evening, and so another big loss for the Cardinals. Jalen Vinson, first and ten from the 35. There's the snap. Going to go off the left side to Umphrey's. Umphrey's trying to turn the corner. Got a little more than I thought he was going to get that time. Yeah, uh, Jay done a pretty good job that time of trying to contain him back to the inside. And I thought we might get a penalty flag for a block in the back penalty, but apparently that was not the case. And so uh, that was a game for the, for the Tigers, but it could have been more of that uh, uh, Mayhan staying at home, keeping the pressure back to the inside. Morville leading it over Mantanchi, 40 to nothing. A few scores for you from around North Mississippi tonight. Vincent will take the snap on second and nine. Got a man wide open. It is complete. Hamilton inside the Cardinal 30 down to the 27-yard line. That's about the third time tonight, Scott, that uh, the Tigers have had a man, and when we say wide open, he was, he was wide open. Yeah, that was just right down in the Cardinal coverage there, Steve. And, uh, that young man was left wide open, and uh, he is a good enough receiver without being left wide open, and so uh, we were lucky to get him on the ground before we got to the end zone, and uh, we've made a, another adjustment in the secondary. Maybe we get that young man covered. So Vincent on first down from the 27 of Belmont takes the snap. Going to hand it off. Big hole right up the middle. King inside the five. King down to the three-yard line, and it's going to be first and goal for the Tigers. He just gashed us on that quick hitter up the middle that time, Steve, and our uh, defensive lineman could not get off the block in time to make the tackle, and I uh, expect the Tigers get in that power formation and try to power it in the end zone now. Ball and Bearcats leading it over Thrasher, 48 to nothing tonight. So Vincent lines it up under center, takes the snap. He's down to about the one yard line. King again on the carry for the Tigers. Four Street Grill and Steakhouse. Good food every day at reasonable prices on the Golden Road to Red Bay. Check out their new menu items. Call them at 356-2226. And also take care of all your catering needs as well at Four Street Grill and Steakhouse, Red Bay. 16 to nothing, Red Bay. 9.34 to go third quarter. There's the handoff again to Hunter King. This time he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, that long pass when Arden Hamilton was left wide open set that whole scoring drive up for the Tigers. And 
Uh, that's just a bad defensive stand on the Cardinal uh, defense's part. That young man got uh, left open and made a big game for the Tigers. And uh, we did keep our heads up, keep playing though, Steve. So the Tigers going for the two point conversion. Vinson waiting on the snap. Jalen takes it, rolls right, looking, looking past, trying to hit hold. It goes incomplete. And the score remained 22 0 Red Bay with 9 20 to go in the third quarter. Man, oil change, the railroad crossing in Golden. They take care of your oil changes, tire rotations, fixed flats, do minor repairs. Call Daniel Mann at 454-3557. Vote for Beth White for Tisha Mango County Circuit Court Clerk. Beth is running as an independent candidate. Go out on November 5th and vote Beth White, Circuit Court Clerk, preceding paid political, paid for by Beth Booker White. Real Lake. David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County Tax Assessor on November 5th. Vote for experience, a great work ethic. Vote David Wayne Crum, preceding paid political, paid for by David Wayne Crum. So the Tigers now will kick it off to Belmont. Number 10, Jonah Benson will be kicking off. Benson the will kick it off for the Tigers. And number 23, Derek Hacker, will be back retiring for the Cardinals. And the kick by Vincent on the way, a little short kick. Cardinals got to get on it. Hits a Cardinal player, and I believe the Tigers got it, Scott. Bounced off the Cardinal player's helmet. Yeah, the Tigers are covered. Looks like Jake Pounds came up with the ball for the Tigers. And yeah, it just bounced off of uh, Luke Smith's uh, helmet, looked like Steve, and uh, they'd be kicking to the uh, other side of the field all night to Cade Rhodes. That time they went back on uh, uh, on Luke's side of the ball and uh, on on side of the field, excuse me. And well, that's a that's a costly turnover for the for the uh, for the Cardinals. Red Bay will have it first and ten at the Belmont 32-yard line. MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply Safety Apparel. Custom signs, decals, banners have been in business for over 40 years. Call them toll free at 800-647-8168. Better yet, stop by and let them know what you need at MTS in Belmont. Vincent will hand it off. Hunter King down to the Cardinal 26. Yeah, Jarrett Rogers got him from the backside, brought him on the ground for the Cardinals. Talk about number 60, Jarrett Rogers. About six or seven. We'll play second Another good job by the seven. Belmont Cardinal marching band here this evening. Appreciate Explore Liquidation in Belmont. You're home for bargains. Mike Stockton, your president. Jada Pitts, your manager. Mattress is the lowest price around. Leaving room, bedroom, and dining room furniture for you at Explore Liquidation in Belmont. Vincent, a little pass out there to Holt. And he's down to the Belmont 16 yard line. Number 11, River Ford, and number 29, Garrett Lynch on the tackle. Ford and Lynch on the stop that time for the Cardinals. Jalen Vincent on first down for the Belmont 16 takes the snap. King again on the carry right up the middle. He's in there for the touchdown. That was just too easy for the Tigers that time, Steve. That little misdirection, Blake, of, uh, uh, gave the action going around to the side. But they gave the ball off on the dive play, and he had a big lane to hit that time all the way to the end zone. 28 to nothing now, Red Bay. Now Red Bay. They'll split Holt to the far left, two receivers to the right for the Tigers. Jalen Vinson will take the snap. Vinson going to try to hit receiver, does so for the two-point conversion. Number 22, Arden Hamilton with the reception. Yeah, he just ran out a few yards, turned around, Steve, and I had the defender on his backside. He opened up his basket to catch the football, and that's a good play on Arden's part. Well, Scott, you pointed this out in the early part of the uh, broadcast, uh, talking about the Tigers, enough players to play on one side of the ball and not two. And 
as the game goes on, when the Cardinals have to play on both sides of the ball, it makes it tough. Well, that's exactly right. And of course, I had, I had heard about the uh, Tigers having enough players to, uh, to sort of play both uh, just on one side of the football. And I tell you, Steve, you get enough depth to do that, it's a real big advantage. And as this game wears on, it seems that this game is getting more uh, in the Tigers' favor, uh, keeping those fresh players coming at us all the time. So Jalen Vinson will kick it off for the Tigers of Red Bay. And this kick on the way, going to be fielded at the 22, across the 25, across the 30, up to about the 32-yard line. Good return that time by the Cardinals. Number 14, Cade Rhodes. Good return by Cade Rhodes for Belmont. Yeah, they went back to Cade's side that time, and uh, Cade fielded the ball cleanly and gained what he could on the return for the Cardinals. 8-12 to go here in the third. Real Lake Donald Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County. If you'd be assistance to you and your family, don't hesitate to give him a call. November 5th, vote Donald Ray Thomas. On this first down play, it's going to go to Hacker off the right side. Derek across the 35 to the 36. Yeah, we're having a tough time on those little end of rounds or those jet sweeps, whatever you want to call them, Steve. Uh, Tiger's done a good job all night, keeping that uh, contained back to the inside. Uh, on the first drive, Cade uh, took an end around and uh, picked up about 15 yards. But ever since then, the Tiger's done a good job containing that. and uh, It's just not open right now to run that particular play. Second and six now for the Cardinals. Garrett Rooker looking to pass, steps up, and he's going to be brought down at about the 38. Yeah, Garrett was doing the best he could trying to gain, and uh, he actually, uh, his uh, offensive lineman had uh, uh, Braden Parker blocked for the Tigers, and uh, he actually got on the other side of his offensive lineman and allowed uh, Braden to break loose in and, and uh, uh, get him from behind. But uh, Rooker's fight for yards best he can. Gatlin's Pharmacy, Pharmacist Stanley Page. Your Health Mart Pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo. We're in your Cardinal football tonight. Go by and see them. Gatlin's Pharmacy up in it at about the 43. Rooker or the quarterback keeper that time. Fourth and two for the Cardinals. Cardinals will drop back Gary Rooker to punt it. There's a snap back, punt by Garrett on the way. Good kick by Rooker, and it's going to be downed by Belmont at the 23-yard line. Belmont will down the punt at about the 23-yard line. Red Bay will take over there first and 10. Well, for today's Tim's your Republican candidate for Tishomingo County Tax Collector. Denise will very much appreciate your vote. She will work hard for you on November 5th. Vote Denise Tim's preceding paid political Paid for by Denise Thames. Mike Kemp, your Republican nominee for sheriff. Thanks to the voters for your tremendous vote of confidence. Let Mike put his experience and education to work for you to make Tishomingo County safe. Preceding paid political paid for by Mike Kemp. The Old Country Store, you'll find those 24-hour gas pumps. You pay at the pump, great food for breakfast or lunch at the Old Country Store. 54 79 20. First and 10 for the Tigers for own 23. Jalen Vinson will work it out of the gun, takes the snap. He's going to hand it off again. This one off the left side across the 30 to the 31 goes Hunter King. Well, Scott, the Tigers look like they're just uh, content now with a 30 0 lead to just line it up and run it. Well, that's exactly right. I was just thinking the same thing, Steve. And of course, uh, this offensive line, especially, are fresh. and uh, you can see our kids with their hands on their hips, Steve, trying to catch their breath. Uh, that's a big advantage for the Tigers, especially when they get on the ground, just trying to run the clock out. And we're going to, we're going to make a stop, though. Second and three for the Tigers. Jalen Vinson will take it. He'll give it to King again. King going to be shot short of, the, short of that uh, first down marker. Yeah, number 77, Alex Cortez, and number 54, Logan Wallace on that tackle. 
He actually got a good spot on that one. They're going to give it a first down. My goodness. Yeah, that was a beneficial spot. I guess we're going to have a heat timeout on the field. It's available at the Red Bay Pharmacy on Golden Road. So with that heat timeout with 5.26 to go in the third quarter, Red Bay 30 and Belmont 0. Tri-State Insurance, they're licensed in Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. They can insure your vehicle, home, motorcycle, four-wheeler, boat, RV, farmer business. You see Kim Wells, Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, Belmont, and Red Bay. Call them 454-3304, Tri-State Insurance. Also, Allen Harden Heating and Cooling, your factory authorized York Heating and Cooling dealer for three generations. Call them at 356-8913 at Allen Harden Heating and Cooling. Rebecca Oates, oh, Rebecca Oates Circuit Court Clerk. Rebecca has eight years experience. She's honest, dependable, and appreciate your vote. Preceding paid political paid for by Rebecca Oates. So first and 10 from the Tigers now from their own 34-yard line. Jalen Vinson with two receivers right, one to the left. We'll take it out of the gun, looking to pass, looking left side. Got a man wide open, Cardinals, and it's complete. He is out of bounds. Yep, he is out of bounds. Yeah, he was about a half yard out of bounds, but he caught the football, Steve. So second and ten now. You know, if these uh, defenders in the secondary, Steve, if, if, if they don't play their feet just right and they have to turn around, uh, that gives that offensive receiver a step. And uh, these receivers are pretty speedy, and that's all they need to get behind us. And uh, so we've got to play good uh, defense here and keep our feet in the proper position. Jalen Vincent will take the snap. Going to go to Hunter King. King spins, breaks a tackle, picks up another first down up to the 46-yard line. Tackle by number 22, Garrett Rooker, a 12-yard gain and a first down tiger. So the Tigers pick up the first down at their own 46-yard line. Parsons Earthworks, free estimates are available for your drainage system, excavating, gravel, dirt, dozer work, and foundation work. You can call them at 424-0159-279-9809 at Parsons Earthworks. Vincent will take the snap. Pass over here, incomplete, trying to hit the hold over there. Yeah, I guess that was a throw to his back shoulder that time because uh, Alvarez, uh, excuse me, that's not Alvarez, that's number 19, Brian Williams, uh, had him in good coverage that time. Ball at the 46 of Red Bay. Benson, out of the gun, takes the snap. It's going to Hunter King across the 50, breaks a tackle, going to pick up another Tiger first down. Yeah, Brian Williams finally put him on the ground, Steve. Number 54, Logan Wallace is right there with Brian. That's a big game for the Tigers. First and 10, Red Bay at the Belmont 43-yard line. Daniel Sparcher, candidate for State Senate District 5, which includes Prentice, Tishomingo, and North Etiwamba counties. Daniel looks forward to the privilege to meet and earn your support during the campaign. Preceding paid political paid for by Daniel Sparks. First and 10, Red Bay, Vincent out of the gun. Two receivers right to the left, takes the snap, hands it off. This one right up the middle and down to about the 39. Yeah, Logan Wallace at 29. Garrett Lynch on the tackle for the Cardinals, but another big game by the Tigers. And at this point of the ball game, the Tigers sort of having their way with us, Steve. We're just, uh, there's some holes opening up. We're going to maintain our gaps and, uh, and try to get that running game stopped. Second and six now for the Tigers. Vincent 
Greens it out here complete to Arden Hamilton, 30. Down to the 27 yard line. Got a penalty flag on the play. I believe that's going to be a chop block. Chop block penalty against the Tigers. Well, that'll help the Cardinals as the Tigers were moving it down the field. That'll back them up some. About 15 to be exact. Had to put it back into Cardinal territory at the 48-yard line, Scott. Yeah, that was a big benefit for the Cardinals. That, uh, that That's a big penalty against the Tigers. And uh, I guess it's still first down. I, I, I can't see the stick, Steve. Is it first down? He's showing second over there across okay. the way. Well, second down and long, and so, of course, you want to be aware of that pass, Steve. And Red Bay is going to call a timeout after that penalty. With 2.47 left here in the third quarter, it's Red Bay 30 and Belmont 0. Red Mont Heating Cooling with Patrick Brooks bringing you tonight's game. Residential and commercial installation to do service, repairs, free estimates on new installation, Red Mud Heating and Cooling is state certified, licensed, bonded, and insured. You can call them at 662-279-6569. Sparks Drive-In, been in business for over 35 years. Great breakfast each morning, a lunch buffet daily, Monday through Friday and on Sundays at the Sparks Drive-In. The Tishomingo County Electric Power Association bringing you tonight's game. They're a member of TVAZ program. Don't forget they can come in and do an energy audit of your home. For more information, call them during normal business hours, 423-3646 at your Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. Red Bud Supply, Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne on the broadcast. Also insurance services and dentists. You can see Danita Trotter, Deborah Farr at insurance services. Your home, life, health, auto, Medicare supplements, much more. Call them at 454-0054. Steve, for the folks at home that's not watched this ball game yet, I just counted when I had a clear view. And Red Bay has at least 12 players that play on defense a lot on the sideline right now resting. Class complete to Mason Holt, and they'll finally knock him out of bounds. Number... 14 Cade Rose and 22 Garrett Rooker push him out of bounds. You know, that's, that's, that's one good reason, Steve, that we need all these uh, Belmont kids and Belmont uh, supporters to uh, encourage these young kids at Belmont to play football, uh, get enough numbers on the uh, on the roster uh, to to have players that only play one way. That's a, that's a great advantage. And, of course, we have all kind of players who are hurt and different things going on, but uh, that's a big advantage for the Tigers this evening for sure. So a third and five coming up. Ball at the 20 at the 37. Vincent gets away from the pressure. Vincent pass downfield. It is complete at the 20 of the Cardinals to Arden Hamilton. And that'll be another Tiger first down. Well, our defender had backed up trying to keep Arden in front of him, and I'm sure he's been told by the coaching staff to keep him in front of him, but uh, uh, it was just a really a pretty easy uh, throw and catch for the Tigers that time, and uh, we got a little pressure on Vince, and he had to roll out to the right, but he found his receiver pretty fast and made a good throw to him. Tish County now leading it over. Alcorn Central in the third quarter by a score of 21-0. Well, we're finding more out of, of, about our opponents in region play, Steve, when they start playing the same kind of things we played. We can tell more about what's, what we have coming up in the next few weeks. There's the handoff off the right side to Hunter King. King down to about the 13-yard line. I saw the official throw up, but it wasn't a flag. I, the ball might have come loose for just a minute. I, th I, I thought I saw that far official throw something on the ground, Steve. There is a flag at about the 12-yard okay, line so over there. It is here. a penalty flag, and we got an injured player, Steve. And got a cramp going on over there. Yeah, that time the uh, Red Bay running back, uh, we had a defender who had a chance to put him on the ground. He just hit through our tackle. And, uh, you know, when fatigue starts setting in, that, that's one of the things that goes away is the – uh, the good, clean tackles, but you're going to have to, uh, to fight through that and, and, and make a good, clean tackle on these runners for sure. 
Wildflowers, Unique Flyers and Gifts in Belmont, Missing Dustin Brandon. Don't forget now, if you're planning a wedding in the future, go by and see them. Wildflowers can make your wedding dreams come true at any budget. Call them at 454-1033 at Wildflowers. They're located 305 Second Street in Belmont. Sparks Contracting LLC, Jamie Sparks, 23 years experience. Don't forget now they do metal roofs, dirt work, installer of custom seamless gutters made on site to fit your home. Give them a call at 662-523-8588 Sparks Contracting, LLC. Real Lake McWaman, your Tishomingo County corner. Preceding paid political, paid for by McWaman. Steve Bates along with Scott Webster. Byron Hellams on the camera tonight. Let's tell you why this got a quick count of our bench over here. We have seven injured players on the bench for the Belmont Cardinals. We've got one by the fence. It's a total of eight at least that are not able to play this evening. Belmont Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford, Pound Moore, Kathy Kellum, your Tiffin's preferred provider at Belmont Pharmacy. Don't forget they got your digital kiosk photo maker for you as well. Call them at 454-9902. Med Express Red Bay, nurse practitioner Kayla Humphrey is in the staff. Med Express Red Bay is a certified real health clinic licensed by the Alabama Department of Public Health. Call them at 356-8907. Community Spirit Bank in Belmont for all your banking needs. Mike Montgomery and the staff, 454-0001. Don't forget Red Bay Hospital having their community health fair Wednesday, October 9th, 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at the Red Bay Hospital. Health screenings, door prizes, refreshments is sponsored by the Red Bay Hospital, Med Express, Keller Home Care, and Generations of Red Bay. It's the Community Health Fair, October 9th, 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at the Red Bay Hospital. Deaton Funeral Homes, Belmont and Red Bay. They've been serving the area since 1945, and they're now in their fourth generation of service at the Deaton Funeral Homes. Red Lake Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chantry Clerk. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Higher desires to serve you. Preceding paid political, paid for by Peyton Cummings. Still attending to the Cardinal player. Well, Scott, I first thought it was a crowd, but I'm not really for sure now. Cramp to me as well, Steve. It's a coaching staff who that was, Steve. I could not tell his number. He's on the ground, of course. It's number 11 for the Cardinal River forward. Now they're going to have River up. And a big hand from the Tiger and Cardinal fans. Number 11, River Ford, let's give him a hand. Rita's Restaurant, located in Dennis. Don't forget now the hours are Thursday and Friday, 3.30 to 10, Saturday 2 to 10. The Country Buffet is on Thursday night. we got the seafood bar on Friday and Saturday nights, or you can order off the menu at any time at Rita's. Call them at 662-279-2884. Go by and see them at Rita's Restaurant. They're back in Dennis for you. 127 to go here in the third quarter. Stay the coaching staff during that uh, injury timeout was getting number 52 for the Cardinals. He's a freshman, Colin Young. And I believe he's going to be taking uh, a River Forward's place in the defensive, in the defensive uh, alignment right now. First and goal for the Tigers at the nine yard line. 
Jalen Vinson will go under center for the Tigers. Jalen takes the snap. Here it goes off the right side. The 17 Colin Humphreys down inside the five. Humphreys on the carry that Lord time Ryan. for Red Bay. He's down to the one. 21, Hunter Borgstrom in on the tackle. Yeah, he had another big hole on that right side to run through again that time. And uh, I just wonder if the Tigers will uh, fall back on their tendency and let the quarterback keep it this time on the in, uh, uh, here on the goal line. Excuse me. Offers that deep man back in the backfield. It's going to go to him again. This time he pires in there for the touchdown for the Tigers. Touchdown, Tigers. Thirty-six to nothing, Red Bay. With Thirty-seven seconds left here now in the third quarter. So Red Bay will now attempt the point after. Tigers appear to be attempting the extra Hunter point. King will kick it for Red Bay. There's a snap back, and I believe the Cardinals jumped off sides. Now, illegal procedure against the Tigers. Yeah, Red Bay had some movement on the right side of the formation that time in the kick alignment. And uh, I guess when their player uh, sort of rolls up, our guy got in the neutral zone and well, will be a penalty again. against the Tigers. Now back to Vinson. King's kick on the way, and it is no good. Extra point is no good. With 37 seconds. 36 to, to nothing. Quarter. Red Bay with 37 seconds left 36. here in the third quarter. Tiffin Motorhomes featuring Allegro bringing you the game. Also, Ronald Thorne, your good neighbor insurance agent. Now, riding insurance in Mississippi from his Red Bay office on Main Street. Your Ronald called 356 4459 for your home, auto, personal, whatever you may need in the insurance line. Give Ronald Thorne a call. Ronald Thorne, your good neighbor insurance agent. Steve, if you want to just know what kind of night it's been for the Belmont Cardinals, I look on the bench over here. We have two girls that are injured on the children unit. That's just kind of night it's been for the Belmont Cardinals. Number 10, Dana Vinson will be kicking off for Red Bay. Number so Vinson will tee it up at the 40 to kick it off for Red Bay. And the kick by Vinson, a little short kick to the right. Left side over there, going to be fielded across the 35, across the 40, up to about the 45-yard line. He has a good play on Mayhan's part that time to field the ball, Steve. Uh, uh, he don't get to do that very often, but he's done a, a, a good job, and now he's got a cramp in his leg, Steve. And number 13, Lee Lancaster in on the tackle. We have a young man down for Belmont. Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff. Come by and see J.C. and the staff for all your pharmacy needs. 356-9000 is Redmond Pharmacy. We're getting you to get a copy of tonight's game available on DVD. Contact Jack or Denise Ivey at Garrett Rooker on first down for the 45. Going to come off the left side with it. And knocked out of bounds. Number 33, Miles Cox. So yeah, Cox on the carry that time. Yeah, Miles on that left side that time. And uh, Miles found some good yardage over on that side of the field. 
Second and three now for Belmont at the 48 of Red Bay. Milligan Ready Mix, 025 North and I. You can't forget they got your gutter splice blocks. They got the stepping stones, military stones, Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee stepping stones for you. Cardinals hand it off. Cox down to what about the 43 yard line? Red Bay. It'll be enough for a Cardinal first down. And of course, Miles always runs the ball real hard, Steve. He's doing it right now as well. Uh, on back-to-back -back carries for Miles Cox. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the third quarter. Well, that's all of the third it's quarter. That everyone it's 36 to nothing, we Red Bay. And now our lowering of the American flag here at Red Bay High School. Thank you. Golden Dreams Jewelry, Paul and Frankie Embry, located next to the post office in Belmont. Their hours are 10 to 5, closed on Wednesdays. You can call them at 454-3158. Go by and see them at Golden Dreams Jewelry. They have a wide selection of a diamond engagement rings, or they can custom design one that fits her personal style. It's Golden Dreams Jewelry's delight to help make that magical moment unforgettable. Once again, the phone number 454-3158. It's Golden Dreams Jewelry. Vote for Kenny Carson, your Tishomingo County Circuit Court Clerk. Kenny's running as an independent candidate for Circuit Court Clerk on November 5th. Preceding pay political paid for by Kenny Carson. So the fourth quarter ready to get underway. As they start the fourth quarter, Belmont has a first and 10. Hacker are on the end around that time, Scott. Yeah, that end around, Steve, it's, it's just not worked all that much tonight. Uh, uh, certainly the Tigers have prepared for that and they're uh, defensive personnel are staying where they're supposed to stay. And that end of the round sort of depends upon that defensive end from, from crack, uh, on, on him crashing toward the offensive line. And, uh, and that tonight they've not done that, but just a couple of times. A second and a long three now for the Cardinals. Garrett Rooker will step under center. River Ford over here on the right side. They'll hand it off up the middle down to about the Red Bay 30. Yeah, that play has been uh, pretty successful a couple of times for the Cardinals tonight. Get the double wing that time and have a, uh, just a quick dive play to Dominic Alvarez. And uh, Dominic's pretty quick. He gets the ball pretty quick into the hole. And so that's a good positive play for the Cardinals. Triple D's bucket service, Barney, Brandon, Dustin, Dick. Don't forget they trim or remove trees, debris removal, stump grinding, clean steeples. They're licensed, bunted, and insured. Call them at 662-279-7500 at Triple D's bucket service. Garrett Rooker on first down. We'll take the snap. He'll hand it off off the left side. Looks like, what, the River Ford? Now Alvarez on the carry. Yeah, it was Alvarez again on that carry, Steve. And uh, Dominic's doing some hard running, and uh, only like one tackle breaking to get to the end zone. Looks to me like on that play. So that was another good play. Uh, right now, the offensive line getting a few holes opened up. Second and four from the Red Bay 25. Garrett Rooker takes the snap. 
Off the left side. Yeah, that time Cade got it on the end around, and that time, instead of coming all the way to the sideline, he decided to cut up the first hole he saw available and enough for a Cardinal first down. Donnie Bell, your District 21 representative bringing you the game. Don't forget your hometown pizza in Belmont. They have a great salad bar to get. They got that new Belmont's back porch, the new patio. You can use their convenient drive through dine in or carry out at your hometown pizza. Open 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. 5-4-0-2-0-2 on first down. Rooker going to hand it off again. Off the left side. Hacker on the carry this time for the Cardinals. Yeah, he is well, Steve, on that end around. He decided to cut it back inside. We're going to the sideline. And that's, uh, that's the most successful thing we can do on the end around is just not come over the sideline. We just try to cut it back to the inside. And uh, might even open up and be able to cut it all the way back on the back side. Uh, and might find a big hole for a long. Second, it. we'll call it three for Belmont. At the 10 yard line of the Tigers, Rooker will take it. A little quick hitter. Yeah, that was a designed uh, keeper, looks to be like for Rooker that time. And uh, he leaped over a player down trying down to first down, have first and goal. Uh, try and get all the yards he could, and then now it's in a first and goal situation for the Cardinals. Rock and Criddle Insurance in Belmont bring you tonight's game. Brandy, Ricky, or Jeff Criddle, 454 9800. You got your Medicare supplement plans, long term care, life insurance, annuities. You get good, solid coverage you rely on at Brock and Criddle Insurance, 454 9800. Red Bay leading at 36 0, 823 to go in the ball game. Cardinals with the ball at the five-yard line on a pitch it. Coming off the left side, did the Cardinals get touchdown, in there? Yep, yeah. touchdown Cardinals. Dominic Alvarez, and uh, that's something that the Cardinals have done the last couple of games, Steve, just that quick toss back to the running back. And uh, when we run that, we've, we've been able to get some uh, some good yards in the end zone that time. Don't forget your community health fair at Red Bay Hospital, October 9th, 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Health screenings, door prizes, refreshments, sponsored by the Red Bay Hospital, Med Express, Keller Home Care, and Generations of Red Bay. B&G Recycling, formerly known as Nelson Metals, the buy your cans, aluminum, steel, copper, old cars, your gold jewelry. Call them in Belmont at 454-7500. Rooker kept the ball that time. The two-point conversion was successful for the Cardinals. So it's 36 to eight now. Last goal we had Tish County was leading it over all corn central 21 to nothing in the third quarter. H&R Block, Iuka, Red Bay, and Fulton, your tax professionals, Sunshine Mills, makers of that great dog, cat, food, and treats. Also, Grace Long Real Estate of Iuka, 423-5555. Let Grace Long Real Estate sell your home. Piggly Wiggly, Belmont, Iuka, and Red Bay. Inside Piggly Wiggly, Belmont, you'll find the Belmont Ace Hardware. Citizen right. Trading Company in Iuka, Highway 25 South. Go by and check out the Landmaster Utility 22, 22, Vehicle, the LM200, all the way up to that big LM700. Sid's Trading Company. Get her did at Sid's in Iuka. Oh, Garrett Rooker ready to kick it off to the Tigers with 8-10 to go in the ball game. Rooker's kick on the way. Across the 20, the 25, the 30. Route down. See where they're going to spot him at. Well, we're about to 31, Scott. 
Yeah, but the 31, that was number 21 on the tackle, Hunter Borgstrom. Well, Scott, after tonight, the Cardinals got to get focused. We've got division play starting next week. You're exactly right on that, Steve. And of course, uh, this first part of the season needs to be behind us and uh, just concentrate on the region play. And I really don't know what the region play is going to shape up like. I, I hear you talking about Alcorn Central having a hard time with Mingo County tonight. And so uh, we're just going to have to play it one game at a time, though, regardless. Of course, we'll get the Nettleton Tigers first. Off the right side, Nick's on the carry for the Tigers. Tackled by number 26, Alex Hogan, and also number 14, Kate Rose. Game of about seven. That's going to bring up a second and three for Red Bay. The Tigers looking at a second and four. Tigers yeah. got the ball at their own 38. Yeah, the Tigers just slowed it down. They're taking all the time off the clock that they possibly can between plays. Here goes a handoff off the right side again. Another first down. Still have enough for a Red Bay Tiger first down. Yeah, there's some big holes opening up right now, Steve, and I – I just credit that to a very tired defensive line. And uh, when you get tired, you don't really focus on what you're supposed to be doing. You don't play the right gap. And if you don't play the right gap, you get a big hole opened up. So at the Cardinal 49, Red Bay first and 10. Jalen Vinson steps under center, takes the snap. It's going to go off the right side and down to the 44 Belmont. Yeah, we're going to have an injured player on the field again, Steve, for the Cardinals. Excuse me, Alex Hogan and number 60, Jared Rogers, on the tackle. We do have a young man down from Belmont. And they'll come out and check on the injured Cardinal. Founded in 1883, Modern Woodman offers financial services and member benefits to individuals and families throughout the U.S. For more information, you can call Ronnie Cook at 423-8477. Modern Woodman and Ronnie Cook bring you tonight's ball game. Down to 624 to go in the contest. Tigers leading it 36 to nothing. Yeah, right now, Red Bay's right up in that power formation, Steve, and they're just uh, uh, up the middle on these plays. And uh, if I'm the Cardinal coaching staff, I'm going to put all my players in the middle there, and uh, they might pass it for a long play or whatever, I'm going to get that run stop in the middle. I'm just not going to tolerate that much longer from the coaching staff. Number 57, Number 57 Sindergan, the injured Cardinal player. Yeah, and he's not putting any weight on his left leg, Steve. That's not a good sign for a player when he comes off the field like that. And uh, I tell you, this is one more of those years for the Cardinals. I, I, I don't know if I've ever saw a high school football team with as many injuries as we have on the Cardinals. So it's going to be a second down and five for the Tigers. Be second and five for Red Bay. Benson will take the snap. They'll hand it off off the left side. Scott, you called it. We had it pretty boxed in there, but he slipped through that left side. Yeah, we actually brought three linebackers on a blitz, and uh, they'd run to the left side of our blitz and uh, picked up a big game there. And, and, and Steve, right now, uh, everybody in the stadium knows what Red Bay is going to do, and it's time for these Cardinal players to step up and, uh, and fill the gaps and uh, get this rushing attack stopped. 
Well, first and 10 for the Tigers at the Belmont 29 yard line. Conda Storage, the only climate control storage in the area, Haskell Sparks. They're located in Belmont and Tisha Mango. Call them at 423-8767. So Jalen Vincent on first down, going to hand it off off the right side. And that time the Cardinals waiting on number six, Nathan Elrod. Yeah, number six is Jarrett Rogers. Got off his block, got in the backfield, and he was there, but the, the ball was handed off to the uh, running back for Red Bay. That's a real good play on Jarrett's play. We need more of our defenders do that kind of thing, Steve. Clock continues to roll. We're five minutes on the clock here in the fourth quarter. So a second and 13 now for the Tigers. Ball at the 30. The Cardinals, they'll pitch it back off the left side. Got plenty of blockers over here on the left side. To the 10, 5, and into the end zone. Touchdown for the Red Bay. They had that whole back left side blocked. Yeah, he had a clear run into the, into the end zone. There's no doubt about that, Steve. And, uh, again, the other night I said the same thing. I, I always, I've been ready to go back look at the film, Steve. It, it's just always odd to me to look up and see three of our defenders who are chasing the play uh, on the ground. I just wonder what happened to make them be on the ground. And, uh, could have been some type of penalty, but we'll never know till we watch the film tomorrow. Blake Nix with a touchdown for the Tigers. Makes it 42 to eight. Point after coming up now for Red Bay. Hunter King will kick it for the Tigers. Vincent puts it down, the kick is on the way, and it's good. The extra point is good. 43 to eight, Tigers. 4.31 to go in the fourth. Your score is Red Bay 43, Belmont 8. Belmont Chiropractic, Dr. Chris Moss, your hometown chiropractic specialist, serving Belmont surrounding areas since 1998. You're accepting new patients. They're ready to help you in any way they can. They appreciate your business. They're located next door to the historic Belmont Hotel. It's Belmont Chiropractic. Michael Haney to be your next Justice Court Judge South half. Hope to see you on the campaign trail and earn your vote. On November 5th, vote for an elect Michael Haney, working man's judge, preceding pay political, paid for by Michael Haney. Vincent will be kicking off for the Tigers. Number 23, Derek Packer is back to retire for Belmont. Tigers with not enough men on the field. Jalen Vincent ready to kick it off for Red Bay. Vincent approaches the ball, kick on the way. This one will go out of bounds. The pickup goes out of bounds. Josh McNatt, your Republican candidate, who's ready to work for your Tishomingo County Circuit Corps clerk, November 5th. Vote for Josh McNatt, preceding pay political paid for by Josh McNatt. First and 10, Cardinals at their own 35 yard line. As complete for the Cardinals. It's going to be a touchdown for Cade Rose. Into the end zone for the touchdown. He's into the end zone for the touchdown. That's a beautiful throw by Rooker that time. He just snuck Cade across the field uh, on a crossing pattern. He came open and that, uh, just couldn't ask for a better throw by Rooker and a good catch by Cade. 43 to 14, conversion coming up now for Belmont. The 
417 to go in the ball game. Cardinals will line it up for the two-point conversion. Garrett Rooker will step under center, brings a man in motion. They'll take it. Pass is caught for the conversion. Yeah, Jay Mahan stuck out from a tight end position. It came open for the two-point conversion catch. 43 to 16 now. Stone Jewelry, family owned and operated for 41 years. They got locations in Ripley and Tupelo. Their specialty is engagement rings and making the customer happy at Stone's Jewelry. Well, Lane Record Service Tire Store and Oil Change. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, next to the Belmont Fire Department. Also, Real Lake Gina McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector, preceding paid political, paid for by Gina McNatch. Belmont Mayor Buddy Wilshire, Alderman Craig Bell, Mike Harris, Sonia Harris, Brandon Farr, Steve Ratliff bring you tonight's game. Northeast Mississippi Community College moving forward with technology in the classroom with a health and fitness initiative with an honors college and student success center. Don't forget their four-day instructional week featuring online short-term and hybrid classes. Call them at Northeast at 800-555-2154. Check them out on the web at nemcc.edu. Rooker's kick on the way. Going to be fielded at the 20, across the 25 to the 30. Holt going to be knocked out of bounds. Yeah, actually, Rooker kicked his tee about uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, about 25 yards downfield, and so that was a shorter kick than normal, but... Uh, we had decent coverage and got Mason on the sideline and used the sideline to our advantage. Real Link John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff. He's honest, dependable. Sheriff, you can count on. He thanks you for your support and confidence you have put in him. Preceding paid political paid for by John Dennis Darty. First and 10 now for the Tigers at their own 36. 43-16, Red Bay, 4-11 to go. They'll take the snap. They'll hand it off. New quarterback for Red Bay, number 15. It'll be Gage Edgeman. Nick's on the carry at that time. Yeah, the Tigers have made wholesale changes on the line, uh, on the offensive unit. It looks like an entire... Uh, entire new offensive team on the field for the Tigers. Edgeman, an eighth grader, now playing quarterback for these Tigers. Edgeman steps under center for the Tigers. He'll take the snap, hands it off off the left side to about the 36 yard line. Nick's again on the carry for the Tigers. It's going to be a third and nine now for the Tigers. Bring up third and nine for Red Bay. So on this third and nine play, Edgeman for the Tigers will step under center. Pitches it off the right side. Brought down for a loss back at the 30-yard line. Number eight, yeah. Jaden Anderson tackling the backfield. Jaden Anderson the on the carry that time. Yeah, and I think it was Jarrett Rogers on the primary tackle. And of course, also on fact number 11, River Ford as well. Always good to see the river back in the ball game after that cramping one to go. Fourth and 16 now for Red Bay. And they're on 31. We're down to 218 to go. Play clock down to 16. Tigers going to let it run all the way down here. It's going to be right at the two-minute mark. 
and they'll call the timeout. That'll stop the clock with two minutes to go on the ball game as the Tigers call the timeout. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent in Belmont. Don't forget, call Mike for your life, home, auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplements, tax deferred annuities, helping you is what we do best. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent, 454-9624. Also, the Four Story Grill and Steakhouse, Lower and Brent Column. Good food every day at reasonable prices. Let them take care of all your catering needs for you as well. 356 2226. Vote for Beth White for Tishomingo County Circuit Court Clerk. Beth is running as an independent candidate for Circuit Court Clerk. Vote for experience and professional leadership on November 5th. Preceding paid political paid for by Beth Booker White. Bragwell will punt it for the Red Bay Tigers. Snap back. Bragwell drops it, picks it up, punt on the way. It'll take a Tiger roll down to the 31 yard line. That's where the Cardinals will have it first out. So Belmont first and 10 from their own 31. A minute 48 left in the ball game. Tigers lead it 43-16. So Garrett Rooker will take the snap. Play coming off the right side of the 40 to about the 44-yard line. Hacker on the carry for the Cardinals. That's a good play on Hacker's part, get around the right side. And, you know, these, uh, the ball game's been determined, but I always like to see our kids play hard in the final whistle blows, Steve. I don't care if you're playing against the first team, second team, or the uh, tenth team. If you're on the football field, you need to be playing as hard as you can play, and uh, that's what we're doing right now, and I appreciate these kids doing that. First and 10, Cardinals now at their own 44-yard line. Garrett steps under center. Rooker will hand it off again. Down to the Red Bay 49-yard line. Reno on the carry. And I believe we got a player hurt over there on the sideline on your side, Steve. Is that Eli himself? Looks like we got another cramp. Yeah, I believe that's the one who carried the ball to that freshman, Eli Reno. Reno. Yeah. No, that's Cade Rhodes there. Okay, excuse yeah. me, Cade Rhodes. Uh, I don't think that's the first time he's had a cramping issue tonight. He's trying to walk it off, Scott. Yeah, he's having a hard time, Steve. I, I tell you, uh, nobody knows how painful those cramps are that you've experienced <laughs> on the football field. They can, uh, I hadn't experienced them on the football field, but I've woke up in the night a few times with them. That's bad enough. <laughs> ain't yeah, it? yes, sir, it is. Yes, sir. I mm. remember uh, in the old days, they used to get bring out the old icy hot or the yeah. atomic bomb. <laughs> you didn't want to see that atomic bomb coming, Steve. You knew you was in trouble if you got the atomic bomb. <laughs> Play off the right side. Right. Reno, again on the Reno on the carry. That'll be enough for another Cardinal first down, Scott, with 42 seconds to go. Yeah, that freshman gets some good experience right now, Steve. He's pretty good sized kid for a freshman, and he's, uh, he's running the ball real hard, and so uh, uh, looks like a good player for the Cardinals. 33 seconds to go. Roker will take the snap. Here it comes again off the right side. Reno again on the carry. I'll tell you one thing, Scott. Uh, he'll lower that head. Yeah, he don't care to make contact, does he? Every time he's to the sideline, uh, he don't take that easy way out. He lowers his head, gets all the yards he can, Steve. 
And that will be the final play of the ball game. Ladies final score tonight for Red Bay Storm. High School. Red Bay the Red Bay Tigers 43 and the Belmont the Cardinals 16. Well, Scott, we get ready for division play next week as we welcome the Nettleton Tigers to Earl Alexander Field. Your final thoughts on tonight's contest with the Tigers. Well, I know one thing, Steve, it's, it's always good to get back home, and I know it'll be good for these Cardinal players and fans to get back to the uh, friendly confines of Earl Alexander Stadium. And uh, I tell you, Steve, we gave the Tigers all they could handle for the first, uh, almost the entire first half. and. Uh, it just appeared to me in the second half, the uh, the depth I kept talking about for the Tigers played its part, and uh, they began to sort of have their way with us. And But as I said, Steve, we're going to make sure that this game is uh, behind us and uh, this entire part of the season, because right now we get down to the nitty-gritty of this region play. And, uh, of course, these games determine our future as far as what's going to happen at the end of this regular season. And so uh, it's just a new season, and uh, I certainly hope we can get some of these injured players healthy, Steve. I, I, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, I, I just never have saw a football team just be set with injuries uh, as much as this Belmont Cardinal football team has been this year. But uh, uh, he's played hard again in that, and, and I expect them more than the same next week. And uh, hopefully we come out of way, uh, with the first win in region play of this year against Nettleton. Once again, your final score, Red Bay 43, Belmont 16. We'll see you at Earl Alexander Field next week as the Tigers get ready and the Cardinals from Earl Alexander Field, Belmont, and Nettleton. Until next time, I'm Steve Bates for Scott Webster, Myron Helms. Good evening to you, and God bless you.